Alpha Leach dropping a brand new collection and we're here to talk about it. September 10th, mark your calendars, that's a Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Alpha Leach's launching a brand new collection called Varsity. They're also launching a new and improved Alpha Lux. On top of that, they will be restocking new Amplify shorts. Not new, they already came out, but they're restocking it. Either way, there's a lot going on on the 10th. So we are here today to discuss all of it. Welcome on back to the channel, you guys. How have you been? Are you guys excited for fall? All I'm thinking about is Halloween. I even bought my costume. I'm gonna be Annabelle. According to Bay, fall's the best time for football and all those sports and all that. I'm not actually into any of those, but believe me, he is. I love that sporty vibe. I'm just not into actually actively keeping up with sports. It's just something my brain just doesn't want to hear about. If you are new to this channel, welcome. My name's Ashley. We review activewear every single week on this channel, all your favorite brands like Gymshark, Alpha Lee, and Buff Bunny. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. And while we're on this topic, I need a little favor from you. Over here are some of the brands that you guys have heavily been requesting. My only thing is, is I've never tried any of these brands before, so I don't know where to start. Do me a favor and comment down below, what brand would you like to see next? And what are your favorite pieces if you've ever tried any of these brands so I know where to begin? I've heard really great things about all of them, specifically Petula. That one keeps coming up and everybody's raving about them and set active. Something we've been trying to do differently in the past few YouTube videos is taking the active wear out into the elements doing what active wear is supposed to do be worked out in whereas i used to just jump into filming so that you guys could get your reviews right away now i'm prioritizing actually actively working out in the pieces so i could give you guys a better more detailed thorough review i really don't want this channel to be a first impressions kind of channel bay and i actually joined a brand new gym that we're thrilled about we love it it's got a pool, it's got a beautiful aesthetic to it, and it's even got a yoga studio, a spinning room, all of it. So any active wear we feature on this channel, whether it's yoga wear, gym wear, you name it. Swimwear. Swimwear can be used at this gym, which is why we chose this gym. I was at my gym the other day and I saw them testing out the bungee fitness class. So the instructors, there's like three of them in a room. I was so interested that I peeked my head in the room. I asked them, yo, what's going down here? What is this? I need to be a part of it. It says bungee fitness starts in two weeks, September 19th, I'm gonna be there, okay? Because I wanna bounce around. So I'm really excited. Let me know if you've tried it. If you haven't heard, my code GATA now gives you 10% off any and all Alpha Leap purchases. Always be sure to let me know, whether it's in the comments, DM me on Instagram, let me know if you use my code so I can personally thank you. So let's take a quick look at what's actually launching Saturday, September 10th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's start with the new Alpha Lux. Again, they made some improvements from the last Alpha Lux. I did a review on that. I was so-so about it, but boy, do I have a lot to say with the new round. They are launching two sports bras. They kept the asymmetrical bra which I personally love. I think it's a really cool Tarzan look. We also have a brand new Alpha Lux bra. It's the Wonder Bra. This one has an adjustable back thong, period, enough said. We have not one, but two length leggings that are launching with the Alpha Lux. We have a 27 inch and a 30 inch. Now, if you guys notice, the Alpha Lux color palette is very similar to the last Amplify launch. Remember that video I just did? Which you know what that means. We can do some mix and matching. Speaking of which, I did actually wear to the gym the Whale Blue Amplify leggings with the new Wonder Bra in washed denim. Now, they're not the same exact color, but different shades of blue. I thought it looked really pretty, especially if you look really closely. The Alpha Lux has a real subtle tie-dye design to it. So you almost had a little bit of that dark whale blue within. They're also launching a unisex more and wolf head tee. I love seeing them on the site because for the longest time they were only Alpha Land exclusives. And I know not all of us are going to Texas. So it's nice to see that they branched out and now made it available to everybody. And we also have the Alpha Lux short. It's a six inch short. I wore it to the gym, all right? I don't want to spoil anything yet but I think this might be my favorite short I've ever worn to the gym. We'll get into that in just a second. Now let's talk varsity. They're launching women's varsity crops, shorts, and skirts. Again, these colors are similar to the same palette we just saw in the Alpha Lux, 
and the previous amplifier. And gals, I'm gonna warn you right here, right now, don't you dare sleep on the men's selects. I'm wearing one right now in a size large, Stole Bays, okay. You can use these as pump covers because the women's is only coming out with sports bras and crops, no full length. So if you're looking for a dope pump cover, they have both basketball and football jerseys available. So if you'd prefer a full length, definitely check out the men's selects. I'm gonna actually have Bay model some today, so yeah. Rented out a basketball court at our gym to shoot some hoops and rock the new Alpha Elite Varsity. Bay's wearing his, I'm wearing my. What happened? You good? We're hurting ourselves all up and down, left and right. I haven't shot a basketball, in, I don't know, since I was a kid. I used to actually be in basketball, believe it or not, in my elementary school. I was part of the basketball team. And uh, probably that's the last time I shot a hoop. I forgot how bad I am at basketball. It's fun, it's a great time. So starting with the crop top, a very boxy, loose fit. You could totally size down if you'd like. I like my true size small because I wanted that oversized natural look. The sleeves come right above the elbow. And if you look closely, you can actually see the front of the crop top is shorter than the back. So you have a little bit of that high to low action going on. I am wearing a small in both the top and the bottom. I think when it comes to the top, you could size down if you wanted it a little bit less baggy. Even though you have this massive patch on the back, it is so lightweight. Even the patch itself, it's not heavy. This is a very lightweight crop top all around. In terms of the jersey material, it's not like your typical jersey. You know where you can actually see the holes and it goes straight through? This is a 100% polyester jersey knit. Very breathable. You look up close, very tiny jersey-like holes going on. They actually did a good job on concealing and adding material so that it was a little more dense and you can't see right through it. So you're fine with whatever you want to wear underneath. Oh, damn. Now sink it. Sink it. Sink it, baby, sink it. Champion. Champion. That was the coolest thing you've ever done. I am not wearing deodorant. And I'm trying not to wear deodorant with, with aluminum in it, so I ordered some off of Aloe Yoga, waiting for it to come in, and I'll let you know how it goes. Right now, I reek. As far as the shorts go, when I first put them on, just like the typical Alphalete short, I've experienced this with all their loose fit shorts. It's a little snug right here. Like you can even see it in the camera. It's snug right around this region. But I played basketball in these for a good hour, hour and a half, and they didn't bother me. I wasn't pulling out any veg. It, I kind of forgot that was even a thing. I think if you want a real comfortable fit, size up. If I could do it all over again, I probably would size up. I'd rather a little more space altogether, but I do have to make note that the glutes look like popping in these shorts for loose fit, not bad. I really like this extra flap going on here. I think it highlights the gluteus. Uh, Bay thinks it's called a yoke, but I love how it adds that extra layer, that extra bit of dimension on the behind area. Come on, baby, you got this. Show me what you're made of. Oh, don't! <laughs> wow, what the hell is that? Oh! So far, so good. I feel very stylish. I think it's helping me perform. I could be wrong, 
Um, I'm probably definite. I am wrong, but we're having a blast. I'm already sweating. We're supposed to work out after this, and I don't know if I can. I don't know about that. I think this I pulled a back it. muscle. Now, if you want something more high-waisted, something with a liner, check out the varsity skirt. Whereas the shorts came right at my belly button, this comes way above it, so it's way more high-waisted. Love that semi-pleated look, very preppy. Now, this material is what I would consider a jersey-like material. If you look up close, I mean, you can see right through it. Thank goodness there's a liner here, because yeah, look at that. Woo, damn, look at that. This is what I think of when I think of the traditional sports jersey. Here, however, you don't have that patch. There's no patch at all. You just have the raised A logo, which I like. It's fitting for more of a delicate piece. One thing to note is this is a pretty short skirt. But dang, if this isn't really short, this is like a mini skirt here. Let's go ahead and test it bending over. So bend and snap moment, if you will. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Now, if you're looking to wear this for tennis, perfect. You got the little side pocket here. Overall, great and lightweight for working out. I personally wouldn't wear it to the gym. I'm just, it's a little too short for me. If we're new to the Alpha Lux, you gotta know something about the material. It's brushed inside and out. This is not the type of material that I would typically wear to a gym. But guess what? I did and I loved it. I was always so afraid to wear the super soft brush feel. It didn't make me feel icky sweating in it. Seamed pieces have really come a long way in my opinion, especially when I first started wearing activewear. Once I switched to seamless, I never looked back. But man, some of these brands are really coming out with solid seamed leggings, shorts, tops, you name it. And I'm finding myself being more comfortable at the gym wearing them because I feel like a lot of brands are constructing them in such a way where you almost forget you're wearing seamed pieces. Let's talk about some changes that were made with the new Alpha Lux. Let's start with the asymmetrical bra. So they brought down the armhole, they removed fabric around the body for a more true fit, and they reduced the length of the top. So overall, they made it a little more form-fitting and true to size. When it comes to the Alpha Lux leggings, they removed height on the waistband and tapered it as well to make it tighter. They moved the gusset back so it doesn't show and they loosened the calf area. When it comes to Alpha Lux shorts, they removed the height of the waistband and tapered it to fit, moved the gusset back to make it less visible, added length to the leg for better coverage. So I'm wearing the asymmetrical bra in the color hazelnut. I sized down to an extra small. I'm noticing when it comes to Alpha Lee, their bras run a little bit big, it's kind of in between, so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna take the plunge, go with an extra small, and I'm very glad that I did. I think it fits a lot better, it looks more snug and in place where it should be. There's no little gaps and weird bunches. On the contrary, I sized up in the shorts as usual. So starting with a bra. I actually wore this bra when I was playing basketball underneath my little crop jersey. All that jumping, <laughs> do not wear this for any jumping or hit movements. If I continually jump, it, this will slow, my tip will eventually come out of this. However, I did wear this to the gym, worked out, did some upper body, I think it was a full body day, this exact fit, awesome, so awesome. I think it's dope, especially in this real nude color so you can pair it with anything. So there's no adjustments, but you do have removable bra pads. I love how subtle the tie dye is too. I think it adds just a little something to the eye. You're like, what is that? But it's not overpowering to the piece, which believe me, tie dye prints have the potential of being overwhelming sometimes. So this, especially with this nude color, just flows really nicely. Now granted, I sized down from the last time I had the Alpha Lux bra, so it definitely fits different to me, but I can see how the structure of the bra has just improved immensely. Like I said before, they got rid of all that bulky extra material here. I think that was a good move. So it's definitely a combination between me sizing down and their adjustments that they made. I love this sports bra. I think the asymmetrical wins. So I paired the hazelnut asymmetrical bra with the whale blue shorts. Again, these are six inch. They added a little length. You know I like that. <laughs> I don't, I can't do too short, which is why I wasn't totally vibing with the skirt, but these shorts are such a nice length. A couple things I noticed is sizing up was a great idea for me. Obviously, because number one, there's no cinching. This is my main concern with tight fit shorts. Here, there's none. It's probably a combination of me sizing up and the fact that there's a little bit more length to it. They don't have this heavy seam that just constricts around your legs. 
I actually really like the let up here. I wore it to the gym. I didn't feel any weird type of way. I was very happy with it. Even with this being non seamless, I thought that it felt great. Like squatting down, there was no roll up. I didn't feel the seams underneath giving me weird indents. Nothing about this was uncomfortable. Even the band itself, moderate compression, low to moderate. I would say that the band was just so comfortable. I mean, look at the way it's sitting. Nothing's digging. My only, only thing that I would say I wish was a little bit different would be there's a little more glute space back here. I feel like the V seam goes a little bit too low. Like I would have liked it to be right up here. Okay, I think that'd be a little bit better. And I suppose if you really hike the shorts up, you can. But now it's like, now they're really short. You see what I mean? And when you really hike them up, then you get a little bit of bunching and wrinkling going on. So I'd rather them just be put on normally, just bump that V seam up a little bit. And to top it off, these shorts are 100% squat proof on me. Brand new design sports bra, the Wonder Bra. Let's check it out. So we actually have a V-neck adjustable sports bra. You have a seam accent that goes straight down the boobies and you have some extra material down here. No band or anything, just extra material. On the back is where it's at. You know I really love back thongs for back day. You know that's like my favorite thing in the world, right? I think it is so flattering and I love the fact that you can actually adjust it to your preference. For example, I threw on the bra as is, went onto the pull-up machine, and as I was pulling up, I noticed that the strap, actually Bay noticed that the back strap was coming off of my back. But then he adjusted it for me and then it looked super flattering. So if you're looking for a little bit more support in the sports bra department, definitely grab this one. The Wonder Bra will give you that much more support than the one arm asymmetrical for sure. Because this is adjustable, I stuck to my true size small and it's working great. I, I'm glad I didn't size down. I think it fits perfectly around the girls. But if you're in between with the sports bra, I do think you could consider sizing down. Moving on to the leggings. These are in a size small. Getting them up was a little bit difficult. And I thought, oh boy, I'm gonna have to size up for sure. Once I really stretched the material out and got it up where it needs to be, it's really flattering around the glue area. This seam is acting like a scrunch in a way. So I'm wearing the 27 inch because I'm five foot three, I would never even consider going for the 30 inch. Now I feel like because these are a small, they obviously feel so much more compressive than the medium shorts. All throughout the legging, I'm feeling a nice amount of compression. More so than I had anticipated, considering this is such a brushed, soft type of legging, I, I really didn't see that happening. They don't actually have a whole lot of stretch. If you want a less compressive fit, size up to a medium. Only concern might be a little bit of gather in the front. I do think that I should have sized up ultimately because when I'm squatting, I'm feeling a little bit of a pull right here. And because of that real deep V seam, I'm really feeling it sink. So yeah, I think I should have ultimately sized up. If you're in between, absolutely size up. I would not consider sizing down in this legging at all. I think if you're looking for cellulite concealment and sweat concealment, like those are your two main concerns along with squat proof, I think these are really good durable leggings. I do think due to its relatively thick material, this would be good for more of a fall or winter legging. If you're working out in a cooler space too, this would be good. Outdoor walks, 100%. There's certain things when it comes to the cool weather I am not touching. Like the Amplify, for example. You won't catch me outside in that, it's like. <laughs> okay, question of the day. You can only pick one, Varsity or Alpha Lux. Which one are you going for? Me personally, all right, I think the Varsity is super cute. Definitely unique and one of those like legacy style pieces from Alpha Lee. However, if I'm thinking practicality, what I'd be using more, especially with the changing of the seasons, keep that in mind. I'm definitely going Alpha Lux on this one. I think they made some seriously good improvements. I think they sold me on the material and the fact that I'm starting to wear it to the gym makes it all the more functional and practical for me and my lifestyle. What I think would be really cool is if they took the varsity theme, like the patches, the logo, all that, and put it on a hoodie. Something that I could wear during the fall and winter months, right? 
I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. Again, don't forget to use my code GATA at checkout to save yourself 10% and to help support this channel. Comment down below if you have any questions at all that I didn't cover. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you and I'll catch you on my next channel. Oh no, and I'll catch, <laughs> okay. Almost. And I'll catch you in my next video.